Good evening my loves, I hope you're all really well. So this evening we thought it'd be nice to spend the evening together, didn't we darling? And I thought I could show you our little night routine. Um, Noah is currently eight weeks now. You are just getting too old too quickly sir. If you'd like to slow down that would be amazing. And we've been doing this little night routine. I don't like to call it a routine but it is a routine because obviously like every single day and night is so different with a newborn it's kind of hard to call it a routine we do a certain set of things every night and we've been doing this routine for like the past two weeks and I, I'm really enjoying it like I find it gives just our days so much structure I think like with a newborn it can sometimes feel like Groundhog Day every single day and it can sometimes feel like just the entire day has flown by and you have no idea what hour it is and you have no idea what you've actually done with your day and I find by having a little morning routine and a little night routine it just gives the day so much structure. I found as well since sort of like having this little night routine Noah has slept so much better like honestly like having that few hours of like winding down before bed is really helping both of us because it helps me relax it helps him relax yeah it just seems to be something that is really working for us at the moment um so i thought i'd share it with you guys but yeah we are looking forward to spending the evening with you aren't we noe hey aren't we ow that was my chin <laughs> what are you doing are you excited yeah wow So it is currently 6.30pm, I am just about to get started on dinner. I try and sort our dinner like it's the first step of like our night routine. Um, so Noah's just had a bottle, he's currently chilling in his little bouncy chair and he'll be happy in there usually for about an hour um, until he starts to want his big bedtime bottle. So whilst he is chilling in his chair and it's a little bit earlier in the evening, I like to try and get dinner done just so it's like one less thing to think about, then I can kind of like focus all of my attention on Noah um, and obviously like me and Jamie are fed so I feel like I, I'm just like a lot more content when I've been fed. Um, and tonight for dinner we have HelloFresh which honestly I thought HelloFresh was a lifesaver before having a baby. Now I have a baby, I appreciate this little box so much. This was actually delivered earlier today. Um, we pretty much get HelloFresh every single week at the moment just because it's so convenient. I do not have time to meal plan at the moment. I don't, I just, I don't have the brain capacity with a newborn baby. So being able to still cook really yummy, healthy, quick, like different meals, because I do really love cooking. Like cooking is something that I find is actually one of my hobbies. Like I'm just thinking if someone was to ask me what one of my hobbies would be, it would be cooking. Like I love to cook. I love to make a really yummy meal. Like I find it just so rewarding. But at the moment I just, I reach for whatever's easiest and that is like one of my main things I love about HelloFresh. I just think it's so convenient. I love the variety of meals as well, like there are so many different meals to choose from. Literally you get all of your fresh ingredients delivered to your door. This week I have gone for sweet sticky chicken. You also get these cards as well which I think is great, you get a visual of the meal and then on the other side you get your instructions which are so easy by the way. Um, Jamie, he's not the best at cooking, um, there are only a few things that Jamie offers on his menu of things he can cook which is beans on toast, cheesy beans on toast and beans on toast with bacon. That's the options. Um, but he actually really enjoys cooking with HelloFresh and he like doesn't really like cooking isn't his favorite thing to do. So if you have someone in the family, i.e. like a partner or something who doesn't really like cooking, HelloFresh will convert them. Like it's really, really great. So yeah, I've got sweet sticky chicken. We also have one of my 
favorite HelloFresh meals ever. Whenever this is on the menu, I always get this. And it's the quick Middle Eastern style spiced chicken with couscous, courgette, and yogurt. It's so yummy. And what I think I'm gonna make tonight, because I've never tried this one and it looks so good, is the creamy rosemary chicken spaghetti. Really fancying pasta. So I think this is gonna be the meal that I'm gonna make tonight. And then literally, it's as simple as this. On your recipe card, you'll see different numbers in the top right-hand corner. And you literally go in your box, pick out the paper bag that has the number, and then all of your ingredients are in here, and all you have to do is follow the instructions on the back. Also as well, oh my goodness, look at this. Whenever we get HelloFresh um, boxes delivered, which is pretty much every week, I always keep the recipe cards because then I can recreate the um, meals that I really love. I have so many of these. <laughs> like, I could open up my own HelloFresh at this point. Um, but yeah, these are all HelloFresh recipes. But yeah, I actually have a discount code for HelloFresh, which I'll leave on screen. I'll also pop a direct link in the description box down below. Um, but yeah, definitely give it a go. It's so good, like literally so good. I have been getting boxes for years now um, and it's just so convenient. But yeah, I'm gonna get cooking. Creamy rosemary chicken spaghetti is on the menu for dinner tonight. Very, very excited. Let's see what this is like. Delicious. Something else I'll do each evening as well before we kind of like head up to bed and get started on our night routine is I will make three or four bottles for the night feeds and also first thing in the morning. Um, with formula milk, you can actually make it and store it for 24 hours in a refrigerator. Um, Noah actually has his milk just straight from the fridge. He's always just had it cold. So it's just so much easier to pop down when he wakes up in the night and grab all of his bottles out of the fridge. <laughs> You've left me a little present in your nappy, haven't you? Thank you. Thank you. 750th nappy of the day. It is now bath time. Noah absolutely loves a bath. You get it from your mother, my darling. I love a bath. Can't remember the last time I had one, but I love them. Um, he literally just loves the water. We don't do this every night. Um, we probably give them a bath maybe like every three nights. Um, purely because something that really stuck with me. Are you happy? Are you chatting? Something that really stuck with me in hospital when I was in um, for a week after having Noah is they basically said with a newborn baby you don't need to bath them until six weeks. Um, and when you do start bathing them, when they are still really small, it's best to literally do it like once or twice a week because their, their skin is so sensitive and their skin actually produces like an oil are you chatting? Um, an oil that's really good for their skin so the longer you can keep that kind of like natural oil on their body the better um, so yeah we only have a few baths a week don't we darling but they're your favourite time on the nights I don't give him a bath I will still do like a wipe down um, usually just of like his face and his neck and his hands because the creases in his neck seem to collect a lot of milk, don't they? <laughs> so I like to kind of just give that a little bit of a wipe with like a damp cotton wool 
pad as well as his face just so he feels a little bit fresher. So this is the little bath that we use, it's called Aqua Scale um, and it's great because obviously, hello, you can use it outside the bath. Our bath is really quite deep. Um, so I wanted to get one that we didn't have to have in the bath. So this one's really good. You, it also as well tells you the temperature of the bath. Um, so you don't need a thermometer. And also it weighs your baby as well. You're now 13 pounds four. 13, do you know how big that is? 13 pounds four. Very big. So yeah, this one's really great. And you can also use it anywhere in the house. Like sometimes we'll do bath time in the bedroom. Um, just because I feel like it's more relaxing in there, it's less bright. I also always pop one of these little muslin cloths on him when he's in the bath. Um, it keeps him warm and it also, I read that it helps babies feel more like secure in the bath. <laughs> you like it, don't you? And I just give him a wash with this little baby sponge that I've got here. Here, some of my Burt's Bees bubble bath. This is really great, it's really gentle and also smells so nice. Hello little bear, hello little bear, hiya, hiya, Mwah. hello, <laughs> hiya, Mwah. So this is what I'm putting Noah in at night at the moment because it is quite warm. I have this little chart which is really helpful which helps me kind of like decide what he's going to sleep in because obviously it's like so hard to know whether your baby's going to be too hot, too cold. Um, so I'll pop that on screen in case that helps any of you guys but at the moment I dress him in a short sleeve bodysuit and then also his little sleeping bag here. This is 0.5 TOG which apparently is the right one for summer. Um, and he seems happy enough in this, like when we wake up for his night feed, he's warm enough and everything. bottle before bed. I actually give him a slightly larger bottle before bed so in his daytime feeds he will have a five ounce bottle. At night I tend to give him a seven ounce bottle. He settles quicker and for longer if I give him a bigger bottle so he'll essentially sleep for longer. Um, so yeah this is his little special treat just before bed his bigger bottle. Last night he actually slept for nine and a half hours. I couldn't believe it this morning when I woke up and it was 7am I was like whoa what happened last night like I felt so delirious because he didn't wake up last night um, but I really do feel like this little wind down routine is really working for us. Currently 9.30 um, Noah usually goes to sleep in between 9.30 and 10.30 obviously just depending on how settled he is but after this bottle, he usually drops off to sleep or he's super content just laying in his cot, kind of just chilling. 
So as soon as he's finished this bottle and is settled, I will go and do my very quick little night routine, which, which, which usually just consists of having a quick shower, doing my skincare, and getting into bed. And Amy and I usually aim to be in bed for about 10.30, um, where we will watch some TV. We'll watch an episode of our series. I think we're gonna watch Better Call Saul tonight because it's currently a Tuesday and a new episode of that comes out every Tuesday. So we'll probably watch that tonight. And yeah, after we've had a little relax watching our series, we will obviously go to bed and then wake up whenever this little guy wakes up. It's all on you, Noe. It's, it's your world and we just live in it at the moment. For now, it is just bottles and then lots of cuddles before bed, which is actually my favorite part of the day. 